Straight up, this is the TE310, um, which is what my race bike is based on. And obviously, this is, comes for the average sort of trail rider, so it's quite plush and really um, easy to ride and get around over tree roots and rocks and stuff like that. Um, obviously, for my race situation, you're trying to hit everything a lot harder, so for a race setup for me, I'd actually want quite a bit stiffer than this is set up, but for the general, general sort of ride, it's pretty fun and quite um, comfortable. I guess my engine I have set as a race package, so it's really punchy and hits quite aggressively. Um, and it's all bottom to mid on mine, there's nothing up top. Um, like there is, but that's most of the power is focused down low, um, which makes it easy for tracks like this where it's tight and technically get a lot of acceleration out of tight turns and stuff like that. Um, so my bike, yeah, is really punching, quite aggressive, really sort of barky on the throttle, where this thing is more, uh, a lot smoother. So for a trail ride or something, this thing would be much better than my bike is set up, but for sheer aggression and race sort of pace, mine works really well as a race package. What about the gearing? Did you, did you notice the gearing? Do you muck around with the gearing on your bike? What, uh... Yeah, I actually run another two less on the rear on mine. Yeah. Um, so, so you, that I'm... 47? Uh, 48. 48. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, just so yeah, I can hold second gear longer in the, in the tighter sort of stuff. It's got enough strong bottom end on these things where you can kind of torque them a bit more, ride them more like a 450. Than, yeah. Would you say a 250 and really rev it. So. Yeah, I like to stay in second gear and sort of talk it around a bit. So I just can do it down the rear helps out. Different. Uh, majority of the time I run the Pirelli mid soft yeah. on front and rear. Um, depending on the, the, the terrain and the, um, the track and that sort of thing, the moisture, we can sometimes switch between 18 and 19 uh, roots and rocks and that sort of thing determine those sort of factors. But um, yeah, Pirelli mooses to so we don't get flats and Pirelli tyres. And um, every now and then we go to the hard tyre if, uh, if it's needed. Um, but yeah, pretty much these tyres that you've got on is what we run. Okay. Guards. Yeah, we just run the standard hand brush guard that kind of flexes a little bit, um, trees and whatever. Then obviously the skin bait like you've got there, the, the, the alloy dash plate, um, pipe guard, I think we run some added uh, radiator braces and that sort of thing, just a little bit of a crash and we build out. Um, okay. Yeah, it's probably about it. Yeah, everything on my bike, on the braking side of things, is just all standard components, Primo components, so um, 
I think that's one of the cool things about this bike. It's so versatile. I mean, you can take it off the showroom floor in the state it's in now pretty well. And um, I mean, this is pretty much what I race, tweaked here and there, but it's pretty much this bike out of the, the showroom floor, so it's pretty cool that you can make some adjustments here and there and end up with you know, both ends of the scale, a nice fun sort of trail bike for a learner or a beginner or just someone who likes to take it easy or you can really ramp it up and get it quite aggressive and, and race the thing competitively.